Hey everyone, today I want to share another book flip through review and uh, today's book is Crochet Every Way Stitch Dictionary by Dora Orenstein, Orenstein. <laughs> 125 essential, essential stitches to crochet in three ways and um, yeah, I'm going to show you. I don't think I'll be able to go through every page, but just to give you an idea. Uh, personally, I have used this book. I am a relative, a relatively new crocheter and still I find this extremely helpful. It doesn't have to be if you want to like design your own, um, you know, garments especially then I think you would love this book and find it extremely helpful. But not only for that, I think if you also if you follow patterns and then sometimes you feel like the need to either um, adjust them to your body measurements or if you want um, a bit of clarification on shaping, increasing, decreasing, or even the structure of the stitch, then I think you would really enjoy this book. So um, there's introduction, getting started, stitch patterns, all about shaping, how to use this book, abbreviation, symbol, key, and then you have all of the um, stitches which are very conveniently and cleverly divided to closed stitches, mesh fillet, I'm gonna say, and easy laces, popping out texture stitches, exploding shells, classic laces, undulating stitches, ripples, and waves. Acknowledgements, index of stitches. There's an introduction, and then it goes into stitch patterns. What are stitch patterns? How stitches create designs? Um, again, I think, especially if you want to kind of design your own clothes, or even just feel free to, you know, pick a stitch and go with it, this book is really perfect for that. And then there is the extremely helpful shaping section, which shows you how to increase and how to decrease. And I think everything will be a bit clearer when we get into the actual stitch patterns. But as you can see, there is a section here that goes into internal shaping, circular shaping, shaping in pattern, so very, very helpful for uh, designing. Then we have the um, basic stitches, single crochet, half double, double, treble. This is all US um, terms. How to use this book. Each stitch pattern begins with a short description of its main characteristics, which may include the stitches or techniques used and the nature of the resulting fabric. We then provide details about important features such as the number of stitches in rows, the pattern multiple, and whether the pattern is reversible or not. So really, really great basic information that, you know, can give you so much, makes it very easy to then design with um, a particular stitch. So it tells you the number of stitches in pattern repeat, number of rows in pattern repeat, multiple, uh, reversible or not reversible, basic pattern, edge shaping, here's the information about the rate of shaping and on what row it begins, increasing, decreasing, row by row instructions are given for how to increase and decrease at the rate specified, internal shaping, we provide a separate swatch, instructions and chart showing internal uh, shaping. And then they have uh, a stitch chart for all of that information. They tell you how to do a swatch, for every single uh, pattern. Then we have the abbreviations, the symbol key, so kind of basic stuff. And then we begin with the actual stitches. So I'm not gonna go through each page, but just to give you an idea. Closed stitches, personally, I'm a fan. I'm not really, at the moment at least, into kind of lacy stuff. I like to make more closed stitches. So here it shows you for example, seed stitch, very, very popular. A well-loved and easy stitch that goes by many names, including moss stitch and linen stitch. And then it tells you what is in it. 
number of stitches in pattern repeat, two, multiple, two plus two, number of rows in pattern repeat, two, reversible. Excellent information. And then it starts with how to work this pattern. So it tells you how to create the basic pattern, row one, row two, row three, and it also tells you how many chains to um, chain for the swatch. Then it tells you how to do edge shaping. That means here it'll do the increasing and then it'll do the decreasing. And then the last part is the internal shaping, which is this thing. So it'll show you how to increase uh, not on the edges. Same for every single pattern. So single crochet columns, single crochet V-stitch, and it just goes on and on. And again, it explains how uh, to create this and what kind of fabric you will get. And everything you can see, not just the charts, but you can see actually how it looks. So these are the closed stitches. And then we move to, at some point, there are 125 stitches here. Then we move to these kinds of stitches. Again, same thing. Tells you how to create the basic pattern, how many stitches you need, what kind of multiples you need, you know, to accommodate every size you choose, and then how to increase, decrease on the edge, and how to do internal shaping. So these are the mesh and easy laces, actually nice patterns, just to give you an idea. And then the next section, it is, uh, each section has different colors, so it is uh, kind of easy to move through the book. Uh, another section that I really appreciate, popping out textured stitches. So you can see all kind of beautiful textures if you like that look, and I do, you know, like popcorn stitches, bubble, bubble stitches, like all those things. Um, they give you all kinds of options. This is beautiful, basket weave. And let's see if there's triplets, raised disc. Ooh, that's lovely. Crossed cable. I have like I I feel like I only touched the surface of this book with doing like a couple of the simple closed uh, patterns. Side bubbles, bubbles on stems, soft bubble. <laughs> really, really lovely. That is beautiful. diamond zigzag, woven shells. Then we go into exploding shells. So I am not a huge shell fan, but you know, maybe it's all about finding the right stitch, the right yarn combination. I mean, this looks nice. So lots of shells. Again, very clearly explains how many stitches you would need, how to increase, how to decrease. And then we have classic laces. And again, lots of examples. You can see exactly how it looks. Undulating stitches, ripples and waves. This is also something that I want at some point to um, be more familiar with. That's nice. And yeah, that is kind of it. Then we have, what do we have at the end? Acknowledgements and index of stitching. And the writer, she has I want to say a few books. I have another one of hers, which is uh, like a top-down crochet sweater pattern that I still, uh, the book looks great. I still haven't tried any of the patterns, so I can't say how, um, you know, user-friendly uh, it was, but I heard really good things about it. 
And that is it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And of course, I would love for you to subscribe and join me. I post new videos all the time. I wish you a wonderful day and I will link you to this book. And um, if you're interested to get it, I think it's fantastic. And again, whether or not you design your own garments, I think you would really, really enjoy it like I have so far. So thanks again and I'll see you soon. Bye.